I'd like to thank your principals, Principal Glenn and Knighton, Ms. Bradley, Ms. Woods, Ms. Headley for inviting me today. I was a wallaby for six years and I'm really proud to stand here at this moment and congratulate you to be inducted into Beta Club. I appreciate the entire Walnut Creek staff and student body and I'm so happy to be home. It is a plum pleasing pleasure as well as a privilege to join you today for this amazing occasion, recognizing your induction into Beta Club. For a few minutes, I want you to think about your answer to a pretty serious question. What calls you? What calls you? There's a saying that money isn't everything, but everybody wants to find out for themselves. Isn't that so true? However, real richness is when you are so expensive that no one can buy your character. Incentives, congratulations, awards, recognitions are awesome, but real character doesn't need those to stand. This is you. Beta Club doesn't choose you for what you will do. They choose you for what you have already done. People with good character make mistakes. They have bad days. But one thing they never forget is who they are. When no one is looking, remember, you are still more valuable than anything a person can give you. So that's character. Achievement. Achievement is defined as a thing done successfully typically by effort, courage, or skill. Achievement for some means good grades, but everyone is successful at something because their effort, courage, and skill. My sister learned to read lips, something I never had to be successful at or put effort into. Why? Because I can hear as she can. Remember, your achievement is not just based in the tests you can ace, but being challenged to be greater. Find your greater, and there you will find your achievement. L, leadership. I love this quote by Stacey Abrams. I believe we need leaders who actually want to lead everyone. This can be hard, but it can be done. In college, I had a dream one night and it was pretty scary. I was on campus in the dream and it was a lot of chaos and people were getting hurt. When I woke up the next morning, I decided to gather my friends and tell them we needed to protest to the president's office. To my surprise, they actually listened. We marched all the way from the cafeteria to the president's office at the top floor. And when we got there, the president said, and at the time I was Miss Elliot, he said, Miss Elliot, I'm so disappointed in you. You come to me about everything. Why didn't you just ask me about security? I told him I did. I said it several times, a lot of us did, and people have been getting hurt on campus. So we finished our protest, and for the rest of the day, I went back to my room and cried. I was so embarrassed, I felt like a bad leader. The next morning when I woke up, the first story that I heard was that a young man on campus had been shot. He didn't die, thankfully. But I remember in that moment being so grateful to listen to my intuition as a leader. Always remember that leadership is hard, but you have to lead everyone. If I had only thought to lead my friends, myself, or a select group, and not think about the campus, risk embarrassment, maybe we not, would not have gotten better security on campus. Finally, let's talk about service. 
Yesterday, we celebrated Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. And one of my favorite statements that he makes is, anyone can be great because anyone can serve. I wanna give you a real life example of how Beta Club can change a person, a school, and a community. One of my colleagues has a son. His name is Marlon, but we call him Deuce because he's named after his father. Deuce was inducted into Beta Club in fifth grade, and they had a service project to feed the homeless. When Deuce got home, he told his mom, what else can I do? Can I do this all the time? They started thinking of ways that they could help the homeless in Henry County. Deuce is now a junior in high school. And for the last six years, he has been the CEO of Deuce Hands because Deuce Hands are better than one. That service project turned into feeding thousands of children and families in Henry County. They give gifts every Christmas. They make sure that our displaced families have what they need. You are here because of what calls you, just like Deuce. Character, achievement, leadership, and service. My encouragement to you today is to be committed. Be committed. When it comes to commitment, I have a funny statement. It's like breakfast, bacon and eggs. The chicken was involved, but the pig was committed. <laughs> the pig had to give it all. Feel free to substitute the pig for turkey for those who don't eat pork. Remember this thing, your character, achievement, leadership, and service brought you here. It's what calls you. The rest of your journey is up to you. Thank you.